Horse number one, a winner four times this year. Horse number two, we're yet to see the best of this horse. Number three, built like a tank. Pity it runs like one. Number four, has never been tested over this distance. Number five, this has not been one of its better seasons. Number six, led all the way last time out, but lost its way into the final furlong. Number seven, this one has the professional punter's backing. And number eight, could surprise a few people today. Orders and off. And it was on the inside, the four, who was the first to break the line. Seven towards the outside, six is next, then came eight, then two towards the outside. Three is next in the field, followed by one as they get over the first fence. And eight hit that one really hard. Didn't hardly raise a leg there. Those red blinkers don't seem to be doing the trick at the moment as they make their way along the back straight, going towards the next. And seven is out in front. As they go to it, the one who's very wide on the left as we see them is the five horse. The horse is in great form. Just jumped out a little bit away to the right. He's had a tendency to do that over the first couple of fences. As they go now midway down the back straight. And it's seven who leads the way. Four's on the inside. Then comes eight who hasn't really jumped that well so far, but he was much, much better there. Now the one is being ridden along at the rear of the field. So too is the three. Yellow jacket of the six making ground. Green on the wide outside is the two. And having charted a very wide course the jockey on the five is now cutting towards the inside to try and get a little bit closer but he's still only got a couple of runners behind so they've got five more to take and it's seven who leads the way six on the outside in second eight is warming to his task spot the red blinkers on the inside he bulldozed the first couple of fences but he's jumping better now then on the outside is the two followed by four then one on the inside of three and it was the three who blundered very badly there he really left a hole in that fence and now I think the uh, three horses out of the contest effectively so now they begin to make the turn back towards home and it's seven who leads six then towards the outside is two on the inside is the eight the one is staying on then five on the outside Four is out the back of the field and having blundered badly at the previous fence, it's three who is last. This is the fourth from home. The seven got in close. On the outside is the six. On the inside is the eight. Then comes the two who's now getting reminders. On the inside is the one and now three is staying on once more. Here's the final ditch and it was the eight who jumped to the front. On the outside is the seven. Then comes the six. It's eight, seven and six. One on the inside. Then comes the two. Over the next and it was the eight who was spring heeled he leads by a couple of lengths over the six in second then the seven the one is trying to rally against the far side as they come down towards the final fence and it's eight out in front comes down to the last now will he see a stride yes he does he leads by three lengths in second is the six the one is staying on it's between this trio now they're inside the final furlong eight is out in front this has been a great display he didn't jump well early but he was spring heeled where it mattered most he needs the line badly here comes the six here comes the one too late the eight one in second was the six just in the head bob and the one finished third and there's your winner was the eight a really good performance by horse and jockey this horse did not jump a twig early but a really really confident ride has got him home your order of finish is eight six one eight six and one